Hey everyone, okay, so for this video I had to use voiceover because when I turn around to show you how I do the hairstyles, you can't really hear my voice because it's projecting the opposite way of the camera. So I hope it doesn't bother you too much and get ready for some quick, easy hairstyles. It's going to be a really easy bun and I've kind of done this a lot, but people always tend to ask me about how I do it, so I'm going to go ahead and do it for you. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a hair tie. And I guess I'll, like, turn it around. You can see all my clothes now. Okay, so I'm going to take the hair like this. Okay, so you're going to take your hair and you're going to just finger it out so it's nice and messy. Then you're going to pull it to the one side that you want the hair predominantly on. Once you do that, you're going to kind of make a twisting motion. And then you're going to take your hair tie and secure the bun. You're going to let a couple pieces stick out because this adds a little bit more to the look. Then you're going to take some bobby pins and just stick them in to more secure the bun to your head. As you secure, make sure to pull apart from the bun to make sure it has that nice loose feel. Move it around to make sure it's just perfectly adjusted, and voila. That's what one really quick, easy hairstyle is if maybe you don't have enough time to wear your hair down or just feeling kind of gross. It also gives a little bit of chicness to any outfit. See, as you can tell, I just have a plain gray shirt on and a bracelet, and it. My, having my hair up like this just makes me look like I totally took more time on my outfit, which I totally didn't do. So now I'm going to move on to the next one. Okay, this next one is kind of going to be a other style on just the simple. Okay, so now I'm going to do a different look on just the simple pulling your bangs back. I'm going to take my bangs and then I'm going to take a little bit of a longer piece and since my bangs are pretty short. Then I'm going to just casually braid them. You want to get it close enough to your root so that it stays nice and tight, especially if you have short bangs like I do. Because my bangs aren't that long. This look is great because it really shows off all my highlights and the different colors that I have in my hair. It also adds a little bit of texture to just normally straight hair. And then you're just going to take it I'm going to take it and pull it taut behind my head, side of your head and then nicely secure it with a bobby pin. And that is a quick easy way to get your bangs out of your face and it would probably look even nicer if I went ahead and straightened my hair. So. You know, I just want to brush it out a little bit. Okay, and the great thing about this hairstyle is it really shows off my highlights and all the different colors that are in my hair. So, that was really quick and easy. The next one is going to be a ponytail that I like to wear a lot, and so we're going to go ahead and do it. Okay, so to change my ponytail up, I like to always braid one section of my hair. So I'm going to take just about, you know, a two-inch section of my hair. Okay, so I'm taking a two-inch section of my hair, and I'm starting to just braid it, keeping it nice and close to the root. Just braiding it down. Okay, now I'm going to take it and pull it tight across the back of my head. Take a bobby pin and secure the end. Oops, one more try. Take it Again, take it behind the head and then secure it with a bobby pin. Then I'm going to take the rest of my hair into a high ponytail. Taking the rest of my hair and pulling it into a high ponytail. Making sure to get all the hair into the ponytail. I know I missed a little chunk of hair. As I secure it with the rubber bands, then to add a little bit of length, I grab a bobby pin and I get ready to stick to the bobby pin bobby into the loop of the ponytail. 
I pull the ponytail open and I stick the bobby pin in. This will add an extra thing of volume and I can be able to pull out the ends to create more of a funky look. As I pull out the ends, it scoots the ponytail up and gives it a little bit added volume. So there it is. And as you can see, there is the real quick, easy way to kind of jazz up a ponytail. So there you can see. Another look that's really, really simple but many people overlook is just the low side ponytail. So I'm going to show you, you know, it's really easy. You want to keep a lot of volume in the top part of your hair. So I'll turn it, go ahead and turn around and show you. You want to grip the ponytail? Here I'm just taking the hair as I would in a normal ponytail. Keeping it nice and low slung, I move it over to the side that I want it predominantly on. I loop it with the ponytail holder and then I pull it to get it a little bit looser. And there you have it. And that's really it. Simple. Very, very easy. Still really fun and... Okay, the next one is kind of going to be like a half up, half down look. So you're just going to take some bobby pins and take the hair coming right here, behind, like right at your crown, and just pull upwards. All I'm doing is just pulling very loosely the layer of hair from my crown upwards. This creates a bouffant type thing. Keeping it nice and messy will keep the bohemian feel and will also add a little bit of style to this very, very simple half a puff down look. I'm just taking the volley pins and securing the hair. This takes many bobby pins to ensure that it will not come loose undone, as you can see it did. I'm taking that little piece of hair that I accidentally forgot to secure, and I'm very easily just adding it back into the mix of the hair. As you can see, this is a very easy hairstyle with a little bit of a bohemian undone feel. Just cut that one in. So yeah. So here's my thing. I think there's something just really, really personally chic about having, you know, maybe a plain outfit, but then kind of a real bohemian, messy, undone hair look. It can just add just the chicness to your outfit that can't be attained with any other thing than just kind of, you know. An so as normally, I'm just going to take the three sections of my hair and start braiding it. This time, I'm not going to start the braid until underneath my earlobe. This will create a more bohemian and relaxed feel, and you won't look like you're a little kid. Even a lot better. And if you have Making the braids too tight will make you look very young. You make sure to keep them loose so and bohemian-like. My hair is pretty short, but if yours was longer, this look would work even better. Again, try to keep all the volume and wave in your hair that you can, so do not straighten your hair before attempting this hairstyle. I'm just going to now braid the other side. You can leave your bangs down like I did, or you can tuck them back, whatever you like. Then I lightly just finger them out to give it more of a messy feel. Them Loosen them up so they look nice and undone. Another really, really simple, easy hairstyle is just the poof with then a side bun. It's kind of different than just leaving your hair down with the poof. So I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to take your bangs. So here I'm taking my bangs just in a simple poof, twisting them, and then taking a bobby pin to push them up and secure. You want to get as much height as you can, but you don't want to look like a peacock. Once it's secure, then you're going to just take the steps to do, again, a simple twisted bun. Fluffing your hair to make sure it has some volume, I'm taking my hair and I'm pulling it into, a, again, a side ponytail. Taking my bobby pin and having it ready. Twisting the hair into a bun. Making sure you let the wispies stick out. This gives it more of an undone feel. As I secure the bun, then I take the bobby pin to just help make sure that the hair is nice and in place. I pull it down to the side to give it more of a low slung look. And there you have it. Really, really simple, really easy. Your hair is out of your face and you're pretty much ready to go.